Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. It's Bob with Homestead with Sadie. So today I'm going to start a little project. Start it. Not finish, but I'm going to start it. We're going to finish it. I mean, the video, we're going to finish it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cow flower plant. And the design came off of Etsy. Not sponsored by them. Just putting it out there. This is what we got. We will put the link below. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually cutting out. Like this was the front part. I got the back part here. I'm going to cut them out. And what I'm doing is I'm taping them. I have them together already. So that when I go out to the shed. All I got to do is lay them out. Trace them before I cut them. So, let's just keep cutting. And these are actually going to be Christmas gifts. So, I don't have to be done today, tomorrow, but they got to be done. And all those part of everything you see is part of I mean, are they cut out already? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're okay. the two sides, and that's the piece that runs in the middle underneath. So that just shows you painting lines or something? Like, what are the... These? Squiggly lines? Yeah, that's that's what they're showing to paint. Okay. Um, and then, obviously, this is the cutout. Shows you the, this piece and this piece. So, on the cutouts, I just want to get this. On the cutouts that you, they show like, like this is where you put a, a okay, it says drilling guy, so that's where you would put a hole for the tail or what have you. No, that was that's like, this is for the. This is the front part, so it gives you a centerpiece for the drill hole here, drill hole here, and then the nose piece, which obviously fits at the bottom. But what they do is they do this with this and this. So, you can put a screw to hold the face parts together, and then when you put this piece on, it'll cover up the screw hole, so you don't oh, see the screw. Okay. All right. That's what that does. The butter is going to get cut out of this thicker piece. Because it goes under the bottom. But... I'm going to screw these two pieces together. Please tell me. To the table. Mine are some short ones, isn't it? But, they're leveled up, especially the front and the back here, because. When I do the feet, the feet are already going to be flat, perfectly flat. So you're putting two pieces of wood together so you can cut two so cows out of two one cows Two cows at one time. Two cows at one. Two cows at one time. But... Um. I'm just gonna take it. What I do is I'll screw the wood together in a couple places, and I may even do one underneath. Obviously, go right where that screw hole is, tack them together, and then that way I'll have a piece of wood in this, and then I'll make the outline, or I'll make the outlines right now, trace everything out, and then I'll run the saw through and I'll cut it, and then I'll do the tight cut. 
when it's just the two pieces together. Obviously, these ones are pretty easy, which I might be able to do this. Put that right on the edge. Put this right on the edge. Put this one on the edge. Are they straight cuts? Because you can just put them together like you cut the one and then you don't trust yourself for enough straight nope. cuts. Nope, nope, and no. So. gonna click this finish cutting these up today sand a little bit and tomorrow we're gonna put them together all right let's start the process of putting one of these together because I got two of them two of them ready to go so we'll separate them there's one So, these racks came in great handy. So, what we're going to do is first thing we do. see obviously this is where the face is gonna go to finish up the face the box there's the tail so there we go I can sit it down and we see it's flat so we throw this other one together real quick so the whole the whole purpose of this is is that once I get together on here like this and yes I put a I put a cold primer on now that I got it together, I'll put the other one together. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put another coat of primer on it. Purpose of the primer is, is I try to fill in the little cracks to make it smooth all the way around. And two coats of a good primer, always good. So with that being said, let's put the other one together. 
put this off to the side. Just like that, and then you're going to all over again. So, I just got to add some paint to them. But as you can see, like I said, box where the plants go, that's the tail, the butt. Eventually this will be the front. So with this, so eventually what happens is on these faces, way up here, so I definitely gotta paint all this again. This will be like this. And this part will go on. And we'll have us a nose piece. And do the eyes and the nostrils. And that's a little glimpse of what the face is going to look like. And obviously, you got to put a couple nostrils on and some eyes on it. So, it's a little preview of what it's going to look like. So, I'm not going to bore you. I'm going to do some painting. See if I can't get it done. Get them finished primer. I'll put another coat of primer on it. And then I'm actually going to paint them with white paint. And the head, I have to do another coat of black. The nose is done. Just got to make sure that the sides are off. We've got enough on the sides. And then I can start assembling. See you shortly. Here she be. See her face. See her eyes. Nose. Come around to the side. She got some udders. And of course the tail. So, just a little something on the side, a little cow plant holder for the porch. Makes a good Christmas gift. So, with that being said, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. If I said that already, if I did, oh, I did. But if you like the video, thumbs up for sure. Right, we'll see you on the next one.